family get a new supporter Mary Dash 20 Mary Lee. Come on, girl, you met. I'm not playing with these people. They think I'm playing. And, and King Drive. Now, in 1996, um, I was walking down here and they was building the McCormick place. And if I start getting real close, the police tend to pop up. Today is a uh, Freaky Friday in my city, Chicago. February the 4th, so they say 20, 22. 2211 South Martin Luther King, 60616, Tupac birthday. You see the color? This is the color that I painted the wheels of my 1981 Cutlass Supreme Oldsmobile. Nothing happens in this world by mistake. They didn't want me to see this. I was talking about it before I left. Now I'm not finna go that away because I don't need no problem. I found what I'm looking for. But here go the people. they do is uh, pay attention to your every move and they start popping up. You understand what I'm saying? And you look like academic lunch meat to, to these motherfuckers and shit. Alright, when they pop up, it's because something real good. Here you go right here. The Platt Luggage Building. Yeah. I need all mine. Real fucking soap. One nine oh seven. My sobriety is nineteen ninety seven. This is coded language. Mm -hmm. Dismantled and relocated two thousand and four. See, they read. They come over here. They learn everything about you. Everything about you. The plant luggage building originally located at 2301 South Prairie Avenue was designed by Howard Van Doren Shaw for the publishing company originally owned by H.H. Forster. Howard Van Doren Shaw was one of the region's most successful and popular architects. The plant luggage building is a wonderful example of the masonry craftsmanship prevalent at the turn of the 20th century. The building was designed in the classical box art style with many elements of the building following the English arts and craft style found in many of Shaw's buildings. The base support three-story order round brick columns that lend a grand effect it is caped by a wide intercultural or whatever and printers uh, is that echelon at the center of the cornets. A lot of blah blah blah. Basically. Yeah, a publishing building. So you trying to tell me they ain't got my book rhymes, poems, and metaphors plus one song? Oh yeah, they got it. They told me on the site well. The CO, the so-called police at the Cook County Jail said everybody got my book. I said I don't have it. So therefore, if anything happened, I'm not responsible because I did not have um, time to study my writings. But they go to John Hancock Building. I told you my signature is going to be worth more than Michael Jordan's. I should say Michael Luther King, a.k.a. Martin. Luther King. Now here go an old. Uh, this how you know. This the truth. This the original right here. This the 
That's the original right here. Metropolitan Pier and Exposition Authority Energy Center. Now this is the original, but the color faded. That's what happened, and they redid it. It says, interest located on Surmac. You see the Surmac? Who's the Mac? And that's why uh, Tupac, he got a little thing going on there. Uh, 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 uh. They, they hooking him up with uh, whatever, you know, a Machiavelli thing. I was looking at a video yesterday or whatever. Yeah, see? Everybody wants to be the Mac. But yeah, I walked down here. You know, when they railroaded me in 1996, and all this wasn't done, they was fixing up on it. 2300, right here. And I went to, um, you know, Mercy Hospital. And they told me I had to leave. I guess they must have went through my ID and stuff and did some investigative work. And they brought some little girl in my room while I was asleep resting from being tired as fuck. Mercy Hospital. And um, they told me I had to leave because I wasn't one of them. After the nurse made the girl, you know, wake me up out of my sleep with a kiss. She also say that Keen is dead or something like that. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. Um... A lot of buffoonery. That's what I know. A lot of buffoonery. So usually they have a lot of events here. And of course they don't want me to be a part of nothing of my city and I built all this shit. Rap legacy. This shit was not here in 1996. And you see how much of a design. They pay people for this type of stuff. And they trying to keep me out of my own stuff. I've never had a day at the spa or a real event without some bullshit. Now to Chicago, Auto show, you know, I guarantee you, somebody got my T-top, drop-top Cadillac truck. I don't know when um the show is coming, but until I see it on the street, because you see it, the streets knows. Now, right here, this bus sticker right here is 14559. 19, they trying to do 1955, that Martin Luther King, you know, back in the day stuff. They want Martin Luther King to have my, my legacy. That's what it is. But if you see this right here, now here comes security. It ain't got nothing to do with me. But look, you see that right there? That's a 1894, but if you switch it around, it's 1984. I gave Oprah Winfrey my child abuse rap in the streets. Uh, my child abuse rap in 1984. At the age of 17. So all this costs money. You understand? And there goes security running over there. Yeah. So what do I what do I pose to do about this? If you was in my shoes, what would you do? Because they want you to kill, steal, and destroy, right? Like they doing me. You know what I'm saying? Uh, yep. See, that's that Baphomet stuff. See, they leave their little designs and shit. Young Pharaoh got this on his arm. You understand what I'm saying? So you know he act like he somebody. But look, he go to look the little police. You understand what I'm saying? Look out! Yeah, they stealing from God. See God? Yeah. Yeah, so they only want the best and the brightest, but they know I know how to pick them too. You understand what I'm saying? What's up? They know that. You know what I mean? Now they run around my city getting it in. But, you know, I'm glad they stole my car because if they wouldn't, you know, I wouldn't figure all this out. I can't be jumping in and out. You understand know what I'm saying? Yeah. So they say tell your story walking. And you know me. 
love walking. Why you laughing? Ain't nothing funny. Why you laughing? Some goofy ass broad and stuff. Tinted windows. The motherfuckers think it's funny. That ain't funny. Maybe she just happened to see me. You know, we all get a little goofy every now and then. Might be a Mary Mac of mine, but I doubt it. She would have waved when I said something. Don't cost nothing to wave. You know what I'm saying? So we got this Tupac. Well, they got, they did something like an exhibit for Tupac, gave him, you know, for real. I'm telling you the truth. And they trying to discredit me. And that's why you go to Mercy Hospital. The name is not there. It's a uh, Mercy Hospital and Research or something. Um, but they just, you know, want to want to clone me. That's all. Or give my stuff to somebody else. That's it. I'm not going to make it. So you can see this. Um, that the, the, the name is gone, but I'll take a picture to show you that it, they took the name down. Yeah, yeah, I can see the bombs dropping now. All oh, this would be a thing of the past. You know what I'm saying? So this is Bronzeville. And when you come into Bronzeville, you got people holding a gun. Nine times out of ten, it might have been Harriet Tubman holding it. You know, because Dane Calloway said that uh, Nat Turner and Harriet Tubman were fictional characters, you know, people they just put together. So, you know, I guess keep people disenfranchised. You know I mean? But I'm the real one, even if they're not. I incorporated all the fables and whatever the case may be. So the real ones get railroaded. And I guess, you know, the ones that are not will get all the real ones, money, property, and fresh things. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, this was not up and running. You understand what I'm saying? None of that. Real talk. So they come a long way, so that lets you know, you see, that they can build when they want to. So that's why they don't want me to drive, because they got all kinds of people in my city doing the most. Free labor. I said the devil is a lot. Now the price of freedom is death, and if I go, we all go. So we you know all them threats and intimidation shit is not working. Here go the big O right here. Oh, say can you see? I didn't caught up with you, motherfuckers. Now this McDonald's down here used to have. Um, I did a video. Of you know a lot of uh, historical stuff, and I guess it was too real for the ass, and they took it apart. Took the uh, McDonald's, and it made it plain Jane. They trying to make everything plain Jane and monitor people and shit like prisoners. There you go, right there. See the gun, and that's a dress. Nine times out of ten, that was Harriet Tubman. You understand what I'm saying? And here come the bus, right on schedule. K908. Mm hmm. Who's the Mac? There go Van Gogh. He didn't make no money until after he died. But I resurrected him. Real talk. It's the truth. You know what I mean? So, uh. Number one. For a reason. That'll be me. They got a new supporter man dad's to the Mary Lee. You gotta step your game up. They go 17397. Nothing happens in this world by mistake. You know what I'm saying? Suck. I was in Chicago sometimes newspaper at the age of 6 and 1973 and then 1997. I, I stopped drinking, drugs, and smoking. Alright? Smoking crack rock, that is. All right, I might be able. Oh, hey.